Amers, I know you drink a lot of Coca-Colas and your bedrooms are chock full. But have you ever wondered how many it takes to die? See, but I'm not talking about drinking them. No, I want to simply from the presence. I want to like a fucking side boot. I don't think you're supposed to say any of that. I want to fucking ate myself. Or that. We gun find out lethal dose of drink by gas. Perfect. As you can see in the average gamer's bedroom, we have 11 by 12 by eight feet. And that is something like a thousand cube feet, which a uh, thousand feet cubed two liters. A thousand feet cubed two liters. Very helpful. The amount of CO2 inside of a Coke is generally between three and four volumes. And a volume you can think of as literally another can. If you have one can of Coke, you have somewhere between three and four cans of CO2 that are just stuffed in there. If we want to kill cameraman Zach in his bedroom, which is like 29,000 liters, we'll end up needing something like 1,400 bottles. This sounds expensive and I don't like the premise. So this is 1.2 liters. So we'd need 700 of these. You think they have 700 more? So we actually decided to use Tapo Chico because this actually has something like seven volumes in it. So it's gonna take way less drinks to fill this car with death. If we wanna tell if the inside of the car is actually lethal or not, we need a CO2 sensor. And the problem with most CO2 sensors that you can find on the market is that they only read like 1%. Because even at that 1% value, you're going to start having problems. You're going to have headaches, drowsiness, and cognitive decline. So most of these that are available are basically useless. And I ended up having to implement my own with this guy, which can read up to 100,000 parts per million or 10%. Number go up more deadly. Wow, 13,000. Wow. 1.2%. So many. It's almost winter. And you know what that means? It's the sad time of year, which is the perfect time to kill myself. Another thing that you can't say. I didn't bring a bottle opener. <sighs> Fucking amateur. Bottle opener. There are definitely way easier ways to with a bottle of soda. If you drink 20 of them in one sitting, you're just gonna die from hyper, what is it called? Hyper, uh, you're, you're just gonna fucking drown yourself. And in the same vein, the LD50 for sugar or the amount of sugar that will kill on average 50% of the population is like a thousand grams. And you can get that just from like 25 cans of Coke. Crushing yourself to death is also an option. It takes 1400 Cokes, which weighs more than 2000 pounds. Oh, oh, we're bludgeoning someone to death. Good point. Indoors, outdoors, a normal range for CO2 is between zero and a thousand parts per million. And that's like, you're totally fine. Everything's normal. Beautiful. Now remember kids, Papo Chico is drunk by nerds. So to get it to go out faster, you give it a swirly. It's gonna take so long. I know. At least I'm comfortable. Hello? Holy shit! <laughs> it's like a fucking rocket. <laughs> Let's see what the readings say already. 1700. No. It's going up by the second. Holy shit, it's dude. It's gonna be 1800 in a second. Once you get to 1000 to 2000 parts per million, you're at the point where you are now getting drowsiness, decreased cognitive function, and poor concentration. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta hurry the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, we need to get out of here. I did not expect this. <laughs> 32, 39, four. Between two and 5,000 parts per million, you're now getting headache, fatigue, shortness of breath, dizziness, uh, increased heart rate, and you'll start to feel a little nauseous. 65, 7,000. Once you reach half percent or 5,000 parts per million, you've now hit the occupational exposure limit 
for like an eight hour workday. If you are exposed to levels this high for a prolonged period, you can actually suffer all the same previous consequences as well as potential loss of consciousness. So as low as 5,000 parts per million, you can lose consciousness, which is crazy. You didn't even pay me. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be in the car when it hit the secret number, the special number, Keith. Me either, but we might be. 77. 78. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I think your math is fucked. I think it's because we're both in the car. Oh, you, you didn't you didn't math for us. Oh, I did. How much CO2 does a human male produce under stress? Under stress, I Under don't know. Under stress. But sleeping, it's 15 liters an hour. What is the number that we're looking for again? <laughs> a 40,000 ppm will kill us. Okay, super. We're at nine. Uh, 10. And then once we hit 10,000 parts per million, 1%, just 1%, you get severe headaches, increased heart rate, shortness of breath, and potential laws of consciousness. And it will take less time. 10,000? 10, <laughs> 11,000. <000. laughs> Jeez. I mean, it's probably gonna like equalize at some point, right? And not be that number? I don't know, dude. I don't know. How are you feeling? Scared. By the time that you're done, we're going to have forgotten how to open the Tesla doors. <laughs> I'm just you, need, you need to have a fucking dead man switch on this. Why is there no safety net? We should have told someone we're in here. I was starting to get a headache. You put me in danger. It's at 11,000. I don't know. Do you have a headache? I, I don't know if it's just from being uncomfortable or from CO2. 13,000. I do have a little headache. We're so close. Friends don't gas their friends, Keith. Okay, the number we're looking to hit is 54. 54? 54 bottles. Oh, okay. And 16 um, point, yeah. Si Ooh. Yeah, we're getting out in a sec. Yeah. 17,000. Okay, so that was, um... <laughs> You're sweating bullets. <laughs> but I'm scared. We are having a substantial effect on this subject. There's a human element. 19. And now, we wait. Cameraman Zach here with an update, 25,000. So then once you hit 40,000 parts per million, loss of consciousness, but also potentially death. 50,000 parts per million, you have all the same things and also likely damage to your respiratory system. Anything above that is very quickly just lethal. Just to put it into perspective for you, we were in the car basically at almost half of what it would have taken for us to just pass out and then die. <laughs> Looks like it's stabilizing at 25. Well, if it's stabilizing, we have a solution to that. The car's a paid actor. The car does not want me to do this. Fuck! <laughs> you missed! I did! That's death. We did it, boys. Lethal. Your side booth awaits. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but don't yourself with CO2. The end.